My, my name is uh, Kevin Myers. Um, in this context, I have two roles. I am um, the Deputy Chief Executive of the Health and Safety Executive, which is the uh, Great Britain regulator of occupational health and safety. Um, I also have the privilege of being the Secretary General of the International Association of Labour Inspectors. My background is I have been a Labour Inspector for many, many years, since, since the mid-60s, mid-70s. Mid uh, I'm not that old um, uh, and that. Um, uh, uh, health and safety uh, issues are always with us. They change over time. Um, they appear in different ways. There are different countries across the world at different stages of development in terms of developing their policies, their culture uh, in relation to addressing health and safety issues. The total burden of the impact on people across the world from being damaged at work is, is significant. Um, and it's really important that we take opportunities to share learning from each other um, and to provide support to each other in developing policies and strategies for addressing health and safety issues and particularly in terms of communicating that getting health and safety uh, right is not an add-on to business but actually adds value to business as well as society because my experience um, in Great Britain is if you get your health and safety right, it means that you get lots of other things right in terms of your business, which helps in terms of delivery, productivity and innovation. Um, entrepreneurs are smart people, but actually, you know, entrepreneurs are people that take risks uh, um, and you know we all have to take risks in order to uh, advance the society. Wise entrepreneurs actually carry out assessments of their risks, not just their health and safety risks, but the risks to their business. And the good ones, the ones that, that are good at identifying, managing and controlling their risks in the wider context of the ones that are survive, all I would say is that they need to look at health and safety risks the way in which they look at all their other business risks and treat them similarly. Um, what we've seen in the last 20 years is uh, the increasing globalisation of uh, manufacturing, in particular manufacturing economy. Um, there's been lots and lots of countries that have developed economies that, that they didn't have 20 years ago and those societies clearly um, want to ensure that they develop their economies but in a way that doesn't damage their human capital. Um, those of us with a more long-standing systems based on that, you know, the Industrial Revolution started in Great Britain, we've got 200 years of experience uh, of developing that. What I think is important for emerging economies is that they learn the lessons, the good lessons and the bad lessons that, that we've learned over 200 years, but it doesn't take them 200 years to learn them. They can learn by other people's successes and other people's failures and develop their economy. Um, the economies are developing very fast, um, and so we want the development of the health and safety cultures and policies to develop just as fast. People, mankind, are curious. Um, and people that are developing things will look to see where there is learning elsewhere. So if, if there weren't these conferences, people will be doing it through, through other means anyway. Um, I guess the, the conferences, if they're properly arranged and delivered, and if the right stakeholders are there, um, can act um, to hothouse some of that learning and some of that exchange of experience um, in a way that might be less efficient and effective if it was a thousand flowers blooming. But what we need is a thousand flowers blooming and the conference.